All right, guys, so we have new information from a global database download that was available about five, six hours ago. Shout out to Reddit. Shout out to Zahal. Thank you for the information. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, bio, bio Brawly cards can be found. Uh, they're now available for translation. They're going to be available tomorrow. Today's Thursday, uh, the 19th, so they should be available for at least tomorrow along with the Bio Broly event. This video specific is going to be for the Bio Broly event and the free-to-play cards that drop from it. I will be going over the banner cards tomorrow. Um, or yeah, in tomorrow's video, so uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, I might drop it later on tonight. It depends on what happens with more news and things that are to come. But anyway, Bio Broly event is going to be here. Uh, the base Goku Black was translated. That was confirmed to be actually translated. He wasn't translated up until this point, so Goku Black um, should be the next LR, at least the base form of Goku Black. Uh, apparently, the TUR and the LR variants of himself are still not translated. Uh, so again, thank you down in the comments below. Um, well, down in the comments of the Reddit below uh, for that information. New events, Hero of Justice Returns, that's actually available today. And Bio Broly will be back and available tomorrow. Um, so we're going to go oh, talk about the Bio Broly missions here. Uh, the, like the actual rewards you get from the missions. Um, the actual event and uh, the free-to-play cards that come along with it. Uh, one other thing I just want to let you all know before we start the video or start the information about Bio Broly Boss Rush, new stage confirmed for 30 stones, same as Japan. So um, we're going to get a 30 stone mission from doing that. All right, first of all, let's talk about, well, the release schedule, obviously, 1020, so that's tomorrow is going to be for those uh, cards. Uh, you have Android 18, you have the Bio Broly, which is attainable from the event. Um, and then you have the agility, Goten, and the intelligent, the technique trunks. Uh, I'm sorry, the agility, Goten, and the physical trunks get their Doken Awakening. So that will be part of tomorrow's video along with the 18. Um, and then you have the intelligence and the technique uh, uh, trunks and Goten, or Goten and trunks. Uh, those guys are new. That'll also be in tomorrow's video. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about special mission rewards for the event. All right, so for the for mission rewards, uh, clear stage 5, Super Warrior Slam, you get Dragonstone. Stage 3 gives you, on Z-Hard, 12 times gives you Android 18 medals. 5 times gives you an Android 18 medal. 12 times is the trunks. 5 times is the trunks for Stage 2. Stage 3 is Android 18. Stage 1 on Z-Hard, 5 times gives you a Hercule statue. Um, uh, clear all stages gives you 2 Z-Swords. I'm assuming um, one of... Oh, actually, it's only for physical types. And all stages on Slam on Hard gives you all the physical um, training items for 40,000 EP. You have the 10-ton physical training items. So that's what our mission rewards are. Nothing really that great, actually. I mean, those those uh, medals for token awakenings are pretty cool, I guess. Um, anyway, Super Slam, victory will be mine for this event. This is with the Android 18 from the Bio Broly movie, if you guys don't remember. Go ahead, watch it. It wasn't really the best movie, but uh, it wasn't horrible. Uh, level 1, Hercule Secret, is a really easy metal level. You go up against an Intelligence Hercule. This is where you drop some Hercule statues. So, if you guys are lacking some Zenny like I am, because, yo, I got under a million, <laughs> uh, I'll be grinding out Stage 1 for a little bit, hoping for these uh, these actual gold drops for 1 million Zenny a pop. So, I'll be doing that. Level 2, Showdown, Bio Warrior. You're going up against these three weird-looking things. There's little Trunks and Goten medals are there. Um, then, then level 3, go up to Demon Returns. You go up against the base form Bio Broly, or the SSR variant of Bio Broly. He's technique type. Bringing a Mono Intelligence team. Same thing for the next event. Uh, stage 3 drops Android 18 medals, so go ahead and run after them. That's where you're going to get... She only has a 30% drop rate. Kind of sucks, so make sure, you know, you're going to have to do some grinding there for the Doken Awakening. Um... And then you also have level 4, which I already said with the bot with the TUR version Broly. This is where you get the Krillin. I will be going over him in a minute. Level 5, Broly, Tenacious Beast. So he this is a strength type. This is when he, like, I guess when he goes all freaking crazy? I don't know. Uh, this is the strength bio well, variant of bio Broly. We'll, we'll wait for that to load. Um, this is where you get the bio Broly medals and where the other bio Broly drops. So the actual card you farm out. He only has a 25% drop rate. Um, it's up to you if you want to actually get him... You know, level Super Attack 10 with four Dupes unlocked. I mean, you might as well, because at some point he might Doken Awaken into this. Uh, we won't have any information about this, but, I mean, I guess that's cool. He'd be really big. Uh, maybe at some point he'll get a TUR and he'll, like, have a slight chance to turn into that monster. But, uh, anyway, you get uh, one new support item, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. He's not really not that great. Uh, Krillin drops from there as well, so I'm going to be going over that. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, by the way, shout out to the wiki. Thank you for this information. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the Bio Broly real quick. Vengeful Monster Bio Broly. He has a leader ability to tech type attack plus 50% when HP is 50% or above. Not really that great of a leader. Um, extreme damage to the enemy, but with Super Attack 10, 4 Dupes unlocked. 
Uh, plus, we'll talk about his Doken Awaken, but that, that super attack modifier kind of sucks. Passive skill, mindless combat, defense plus 70%, and attack minus 50% when facing one enemy. So he's only going to serve as a defensive unit for you if you're lacking a tank on a monotech team. Um, he is free to play also, guys, so you know don't expect too much from this guy. He kind of sucks. Attack plus 70% and defense minus 50% when we're facing two or more enemies. So he at least gives himself a decent attack buff, but again, on extreme damage modifier, not that great. But you know what? He can do well, um, possibly, for the free-to-play events for like the LR Frieza for you um, or the LR Goku because he's going to be getting that defensive buff. So he's going to tank a lot, so those guys will not be doing a lot of damage to you. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Revival, and Nightmare. He's part of the Revive Warrior category as well. Don't know if you're that why you would ever use him. Maybe to link with your Brolies, I guess. Uh, max stats are HP of 7423, attack of 7140, and defense of 4130, uh, 4113. There's a 12 key multiplier of 130%. He awakens with 12 Bio Broly medals, 3 Goten medals, 3 Trunks medals, and 3 Android 18 medals. Again, that is from this event, so go ahead and you're going to have to grind all of them out. It's really going to be stage 2 and 3, and you're going to be grinding a hell of a lot of and then 5 for obviously the dupes and everything. Um, when he Doken Awakens, he's going to Doken Awaken into um, the return to uh, of the Teemin Bio Broly. So his new leader ability is Tech Type Key plus 1, Attack and Defense plus 50% when HP is 30% or above. That's a little bit better, um, especially if you like really just don't have any type of technique leader. Uh, if you don't have any type of technique leader, I mean, even Gogeta would be better, in my opinion, than this guy. But attack and defense plus 50%, and key plus 1. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to even say he's a good leader. He's a crap leader, but he's a leader. <laughs> uh, super attack is Eraser Cannon. Isn't that like Nappa's attack? Um, uh, maybe not. I don't know. Causes supreme damage to the enemy now. So he gets a supreme damage modifier, so it might be worth you getting some dupe pads unlocked of him. Um, I would probably say bottom left, just because his passive skill for defense is always going to be going off, so you will, can increase his defense even more. Uh, let's see, indiscriminate destruction. Defense plus 100% and attack minus 50% when facing only one enemy. And then attack plus 100% and defense minus 50% when facing two or more enemies. So overall, his first part of the passive will be going off, so he will always be a tank. Um, I believe people actually had tried this out with him because he does uh, do a lot of defense. Uh, again, it really is going to depend on the team. He's only going to do actually well on the Super Saiyan 3 Broly team um, in terms of his defense actually being a benefit to you because of that 100% uh, stat buff. But anyway, his link skills are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Revival, Nightmare, and Shattering the Limit. Uh, max stats are HP of 8230, attack of 7580, and defense of 4535 with a 12 key multiplier of 135%. For free to play, he's not great. But he will do good again, like I said before, against the LR events and possibly on a Super Saiyan 3 Broly team if you're lacking characters on the team. Now, if you're lacking characters on the team, he could at least hit off some of Broly's uh, Link skills. Um, on top of that, he will at least be a good, decent defender, especially if you actually feed some uh, orbs into him. Now, I wouldn't recommend uh, you doing that, but if you are legit free to play and you don't have any cards and you got really shafted and you don't want to reroll because you have one or two of the cards that you really want it, then I could say maybe if you want to actually feed some orbs into free-to-play units, that at least the defensive path might be something you want to consider. But uh, overall, I wouldn't I would not recommend as a primary source of orbs to be utilized on this guy. Uh, but anyway, let's go into the Krillin that's for, uh, that drops from here, Heartening Support Krillin. Now, by the way, this card can be fed into a whole slew of other Krillins. I think any Krillin in the game essentially, as long as his name just says Krillin, you can feed him into it. So he is farmable, which is great. His leader ability is physical type key plus two, attack plus 20% when HP is 80% or below. Uh, his super attack is the triple Kamehameha, uh, causes extreme damage to the enemy, raises allies, attack by 20% for one turn. Um, you're never going to really use that in battle. Um, I mean, that attack plus 20% is cool, it's a, that super uh, Vegito uh, support, but at the same time, he is a physical unit with extreme damage and he's free to play, so you're never going to really want it. Uh, love for the family, or love for family, key plus 3, attack plus 3,000, HP is 80% or below, so he's self-reliant, which is cool, but attack plus 3,000 kind of sucks, if it was something a little bit, like, more, maybe, like, attack plus, like, it's free to play, so I can't say too much, but, like, attack plus 50% would have been cool for a free to play unit. Anyway, link skills are Z Fighters, Turtle School, Courage, Best Buddies, Rival Duo, and Kamehameha, uh, not that great in terms of link linking ability. Uh, HP, max HP is 6548, attack of 5938, and defense of 3717, with a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Now, I mean, Krillin's cool. I like Krillin. He's a cool character uh, overall, but they, they always shaft him, and I know he is the butt of a lot of jokes, but 
you know, he's really not that bad uh, in terms of who he is as a human in the world of Z, and I feel like he keeps on getting shafted with these garbage cards. But, I mean, I mean you also got to take into consideration the free-to-play um, versus pay-to-play, you know, but there's no really good pay-to-play Krillin cards. They really need to give him something good. <laughs> um, Awakening Medals, I just want to go over Awakening Medals. The Goten Medals are for the Bio Broly, as we discussed, and the um, actual Goten. Um, I'm not going to go over full in depth with the card, but since we're in this video, let's go ahead and just mention you need seven of those to Doken Awaken him. For the Trunks, again, Bio Broly and Trunks, you're going to need seven for the Trunks. It's the same thing between the two of them. And last but not least, the support item Lord Jaguar, I guess his name is. Um, his description and effect. So he gives key plus two, attack plus 5,000 for two turns. So for key support, he's a cool unit or a cool support item, but... That attack buff is, doesn't really do too much. It's just a flat-out attack buff, which kind of sucks. But keep us two for two turns isn't that horrible. And I mean, I guess he's available to grind out. So uh, I wouldn't recommend grinding it out. It's not really too. It's not really worth it. I would focus on the Broly. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Stay tuned. Um, tomorrow's video, or maybe tonight's, I will be going over the banner cards. That means the new 18, the Doken version of herself, the two new Goten and Trunkses that are available and the Doken Awakens of the Trunks and the Goten. So those cards, especially the Trunks, and that, well, yeah, specifically the physical Trunks, he's gonna be super, he's gonna play a big vital role on a mono-physical super team. So if you are if you have him, I would highly recommend getting him Doken Awakened um, and getting him the Super Attack 10 because he's semi-farmable. But anyway, I'll, I'll talk about all that tomorrow. Thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.